Welcome to Living Ultra, where we talk about all things ultra running and really how ultra running spills over into our everyday life. So I am Kelly O'Dell. And I'm Harvey Lewis. And we've been talking about starting a YouTube channel for how long? A uh, long time, honey. How long? I don't know. <laughs> it's going to keep me track with that. Yeah, we don't know, but it's been a while, but I'm glad that we're doing it. Yes. This is good. Absolutely. So, to get started. Yeah, so why don't you tell us about your first ultra, which actually today we looked up and I and you actually happened to run uh, in that same race. Yes. But we hadn't, we did not like officially meet. We didn't meet until two and a half years after that. Exactly. Yeah. So, my first ultra was uh, tie-dye 50K. That was in April of 2011, which is the one that you, we found out you were also at, and you came in third, and I came in like third from last. It's something close <laughs> to that. Yeah, so we we had a like you know cross paths. Yeah, yeah. So okay, so what you want to know what got me into ultra running? Yeah. Okay, so. Um, you know, I was 30 and I was just getting started in running. I was running 5Ks, 10Ks, some half marathons. And a lot of people kept asking like, oh, when are you going to run a marathon? And it just, I didn't really have an interest in it. And I ran a race that we got like this, um, like a trail runners newsletter in it. And it had an article in there about a guy and it talked about him running 50 miles and hundred miles, like through the woods in the dark. And I was like, well, that sounds fun. So, you know, that was 12 years ago, and there really wasn't even a lot of information out on the internet. At least I couldn't find it on ultra running. But what I could find said you really needed to have a background uh, running some marathons. So that's when I started training for marathons and then eventually um, got into ultras. But I think another thing that really solidified it is I uh, volunteered at Mohegan 100 and I just had this feeling of like belonging and like these are my people and I've been hooked and I've ran I've ran at least one ultra every year since 2011. That's neat. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Yeah. So my first ultra was uh, the fans 24 hour race in Minnesota and. Uh, and what year was that? It was back in 90, 1996. And uh, basically, a family friend had taken me out to check out this race uh, when she had found out that I had run the marathon. And we went out and supported another guy who was doing the race. And uh, I really like had like put that away in my memory file and really didn't think I would do that race. But when I was a fresh or actually sophomore in college, I really was like seeking out some some sort of mountain figuratively in life to go after and uh, Minnesota really didn't have like uh, big mountains and, and I really didn't have the resources to go travel far away to find a mountain so it uh, dawned on me about the fan sway for our race and so I went out there and went for just trying to keep myself moving for 24 hours and it was really uh, some sort of uh, special uh, experience discovering like uh new new about my my personal limits and also i really enjoyed the running community i got to meet some really fantastic people and uh by the end of that race i was uh it had definitely like hooked me a bit too that's cool so do you know do you remember how many miles did you run in that yeah. in your first 24 hour race yeah so i ran 81.25 miles 81.25 miles yeah i remember in my first 24 hour race i ran 63 miles that's great huh? that was my yeah damn yeah. yeah yeah now you just went back to that same race in yeah. 2022 right yeah, so last summer I went back to the race where I had got it all started. And so that was uh, 24 years, 25 years later. So you've been uh, running ultras. 26 years later. So you've been running ultras for yeah. 26 years. Yeah, 26 okay. years later. And uh, I managed to get the course record on that course and ran 148.86 uh, miles, I believe. And uh, 
So it's kind of wild because my 20 year old self and 30 year old self wouldn't have dreamed it possible. Yeah. And it, you, you know, just the element of continually uh, improving the you know, strategy yeah. and training and uh, just all the other elements that come okay. together. Which is what we are hoping to really dig into and talk about in this YouTube channel, right? Absolutely. Like all Absolutely. aspects yeah. of it. So nutrition, mental yes. training. Yes. Uh, I think it's really cool also that like a lot, like Harvey and I run, we run a lot of the same races. So we uh, sometimes we run normally at least once or twice a year, right? We'll run the same race. Yeah, we we try to run uh, a race or two each year together. Yeah, like, uh, so I think it'll be really sure. neat having really the different perspectives because we may be running the same race, but we have different goals and we have different ways that we train. But I think we find success in both of our methods, so it'll be nice to have. I think see a different two perspectives. Damn. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So it's not always you and I that run together, though, right? We also have another training partner oh, that yeah. runs with us. Yeah. Where and where is she at? Carly. So Harvey and I do run on the weekends typically together, oh. but we also <laughs> we also <laughs> she thinks there's someone outside now. We also run with Carly, so she'll probably oh, yeah. make an appearance or two. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good? Dried mangoes. Yeah. Really good. Harvey's always snacking. Mm-hmm. Okay, good to go. We'll see you next time.